that? That's not coffee? What is that? This is the new Yves Rocher Flowers in the City collection. Okay, I hope you like this fun intro. Now I'm going to tell you everything about these eyeliners because I've already tried them. It's not the first impression and these are the eyeliners that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I did my one using just these eye pencils, the turquoise, the teal blue, the pink and also the teal blue is a little bit present here and the green is a different eyeliner from another collection. They're called Stilo Regard Waterproof, waterproof eye pencil and the colors are called Jacinthe, Hyacinth, Hortensia, Hortensia and Dahlia, Dahlia. Of course I also filmed these eyeliners when they were new, you can see how they were packed, then you can remove this protective film and here is how the tip looks like when it is new. The pink eye pencil and now the blue eye pencil and the turquoise eye pencil. Some hand swatches, Jacinthe, Hyacinth, eye swatches in the tutorial will follow. The turquoise Hortensia, Hortensia and finally the hot pink Dahlia, Dahlia. This one is so bright. Let's test them after they set. Are they smudge proof? Almost no smudging. Here we have the tips of the eye pencils that already were in use. And you're probably wondering how the heck do I sharpen this thing? We'll get to that. And before we get to the shopping, let me give you a quick review on whether you should or shouldn't be spending money on these pencils. Obviously, I cannot tell you what you should or shouldn't do, but I can give you my opinion so that you decide for yourself. So I bought these pencils here for around 9 euros and in France, which is the home country of Yves Rocher, they are costing about 7 euros. So depending on which country you're located in, the price may vary a little. However, they are not these eye pencils for 20-25 bucks that I sometimes see on the shelves, which there is nothing wrong with a pencil for 20 bucks if it's good. However, these are definitely more affordable, but are they good? Or are they good for the price? Or are they no good at all? <laughs> Let me tell you, the answer is not that simple. So first of all, the pigmentation. You do require several passes to apply them. The blue and the turquoise apply better. I think the blue applies best of all, just, you know, like a couple of times back and forth. Turquoise may be like three, four times back and forth for full opacity. It's not like when you pass it the first time there is nothing there. There is something there. However, if you want the color to show up as it is in the pencil, you need a few passes. Here are the eye swatches aka eye tutorial. First use the blue teal color to outline the tip of your wing, fill it in and drag it approximately to the center of your eyelid. I'm sorry this is a little out of focus. Then use the turquoise color for the inner part of the eye and finally use the hot pink color to highlight your wing to kind of outline it from below and drag this line a little bit to the lower lid and you can also apply some blue to the waterline. The pink is probably the hardest to apply, like it's definitely a little bit more stiff and it's tagging your skin a bit and you need like a good deal of passes back and forth to get that hot pink that that is in there. However, the good news is that you will be able to get this pigmentation, like you will eventually get this pigmentation and uh, the pink one, like as I said, it does tug your skin a bit. However, I think from people like me it is worth it because I have super oily lids in case you didn't know and usually nothing lasts on me but I tested this pink eye pencil a couple of days ago and let me tell you this is how the pencil looked when just applied this is how the pencil looked after six hours no transferring at all zero this is how the pencil looked after eight hours a very slight transferring on the upper lid and that's it this is a very rare case for me guys that i find something that really lasts on my oily lids without any tricks like without the lasting eyeliner tricks that i made a video about you know without any primers without any eyeshadows without any additional <laughs> things that i'm doing like blotting my skin on my eyelid <laughs> obsessively throughout the day if i do nothing about it uh, usually most pencils just don't last on me for more than like four hours without transferring and six hours at all and so uh, I do have a lot of pencils that do last however it took me some time to find them and often 
more often than not, I bump into new pencils when I try out new pencils. They do not really last that well. If you are an oily lid lucky guy or girl, I think these might really work for you. And um, they might not be the best in pigmentation, however, I think in this case you can say they're good for the price. Hi guys, it's Julia from the future and I have something to add. So, the pink eye pencil is really good for oily lids, while the blue and the turquoise eye pencils are a little bit softer, and so they're just okay for oily lids. They start transferring a little bit earlier, so probably already after four hours you will notice some transferring, and probably they're not going to last for more than like seven on oily lids without any primers or eyeshadows. If you have eyelids that have no problem at all with anything lasting on them, and you probably just want something to be softer and more pigmented and smoother, then probably these are not the best ones for you. Anyway, you decide. As for the waterline, mm, pink, no, you cannot really apply it on the waterline because it's too stiff, it just kind of doesn't go there. As for blue and turquoise, I feel like you can actually apply them to the waterline. Also, you will need a few passes. However, mm, they can go there, like I have the blue on my waterline a little bit, but still I feel like these may not be the best for the waterline because just mm, of this little lack of pigmentation. So if you're planning to buy them just for the waterline, maybe also not the best idea. However, you, you might try, like, they, they kind of work. These two kind of work, the pink kind of no. Now let's see if you can sharpen them to get that actually precise wing. You can see that the tip is really blunt. Can you sharpen it to draw your wing? Yes, you can. So on the flip side of the pencil, you have this little thing, which is actually a pencil sharpener. You just need some effort to pull it out, but it can be pulled out. Then you see this black device here, which should sharpen your pencil. Like insert it very softly, be gentle, and start turning it very, very slowly. And see, the tip became sharper. You can extract it some more and insert it again and turn it a little bit more to get an even sharper tip. There you go. I also recommend using a toothpick to clean your pencil sharpener after every use so that this thing just doesn't, you know, stick there and ruin your next sharpening part. You know, something like this. Let's do the blue one as well. So satisfying. I personally love this Yves Rocher Flowers in the City collection, especially the hot pink eyeliner, because let's face it, hot pink is a rare color for an eyeliner, especially in a matte version somehow. Anyway, let me know which colors you like best, will you be picking up this collection or not, and I will see you in my other reviews playlist. Thanks for watching, bye!